Hi, my name is Liam Freeman and I'm the Associate Dean in Vocational Education for Media, Art and Communication programs here at RMIT University. I've been Associate Dean at RMIT for over four years now and also have been actively involved in the creative industries and have worked as a professional musician for many years. Today I'm going to tell you a bit about RMIT's suite of music industry, sound production, screen and media and live production and technical services programs. I'll explain some of the key learning outcomes of each program, the structure of the programs and the kinds of projects you can expect to work on as a student. It's my privilege to be a part of the vibrant screen and media, sound production and live production community at RMIT and I'd love to welcome you to one of these programs. Womanjika everyone, uh, firstly before we get started I'd just like to acknowledge on behalf of RMIT University the people of the Woiwurrung and Boonwurrung language groups of the Eastern Kulin Nations on whose unceded lands we conduct the business of the university. The university respectfully acknowledges their ancestors and elders past and present. RMIT also acknowledges the traditional custodians and their ancestors of the lands and waters across Australia where we conduct our business. So just here to briefly talk through the main program areas that I'll be speaking to at this, at this point in this presentation. So those include screen and media programs, which includes a certificate for in screen and media, a diploma of screen and media, an advanced diploma of screen and media, and also an associate degree in screen and media production. In addition to the screen and media programs, we also have two qualifications in music industry sound production, a diploma level qualification and an advanced diploma level qualification. Uh, also, we have uh, two qualifications in live production and technical services, a certificate for and diploma level qualification. Really these areas and these programs focus on making films, creating and manipulating sound, uh, producing cutting edge digital content, You'll be learning from industry practitioners, uh, staff who are themselves highly qualified and active in the industry as discipline specialists. You'll be subject to some theory content and also hands-on tutorials. And you'll be learning to tell stories, build strategies and execute creative projects. It's worth noting that RMIT University is ranked number one as a design university in the Asia-Pacific and number 11 in the world. And also, to study in Melbourne is a fantastic opportunity because it's one of the most um, famous arts industry and arts related cities in the world. An example of that is the number of live music venues per capita are higher than in any other city in the world. To extend that overview, uh, I'd like to briefly speak about Square in the Media programs where students will be writing, producing, directing and editing screen content and exploring areas such as concept development, storytelling and all other aspects of production. In sound production, students will be developing skills in sound design, post-production, broadcast audio and audio networking protocols. This will expand your range of audio production knowledge. In live production and technical services, you'll learn a range of practical technical skills under instruction from teachers, including setting up, operating and maintaining lighting equipment, sound equipment, vision and presentation equipment. It's worth noting in this area that students are highly sought after and in fact many of our graduates are working at RMIT as technicians in the service area divisions of the university. It's worth noting in terms of our uh, selection requirements for uh, the, all of these programs is that there's no ATAR requirement. So there's no need for an ATAR score. This is not part of how we make our assessments of uh, suitability for programs. Um, all applicants must complete and submit a selection task. Now generally those are located online, uh, online selection tasks for all of these, all of these programs. In addition, there may be a requirement for you to come in and, uh, and have an interview with one of our staff. The agenda here, the, the focus here is to, is to assist us to match um, your, your skill sets, uh, your career aspirations and goals 
with a program that best fits in order to set you up for success once you're studying here at RMIT University. So in terms of pathways, one of the great opportunities at RMIT University is where you have the option of moving through a vocational education qualification. Um, and in these examples you can see here, uh, there are two sequenced qualifications um, as in terms of the sample that's um, demonstrated here. You've got generally a diploma followed by an advanced diploma and then if you wish you may um, articulate into an undergraduate uh, bachelor program. What this represents is firstly over a three and a half year period that you could end up with three qualifications which is um, a great opportunity for students who may wish to equip themselves with industry ready skills and knowledge and potentially step off into industry and into work at different points. So you may choose to do that after the diploma qualification if you successfully complete or you may then move on into the advanced diploma offering and step off into industry at that point. Um, if you wish to continue your study you could then uh, choose to move into an undergraduate uh, bachelor degree qualification. The thing about uh, vocational education at its heart is its industry training, so skills development. So the purpose really is to, is to prepare people for work, work situated skills, knowledge and the application of that knowledge. So this is a really fantastic um, opportunity here where you've got firstly three qualifications rolled up into three and a half years um, and also the opportunity to step on and off uh, should you wish if you wish to com if you complete the vocational uh, qualifications at the, at the different time points. In terms of our uh, course structure I'll go through a couple of slides here that break down the qualification into the various uh, units of competency or otherwise you might think of them as subjects or at RMIT we call them courses. So the first example here is the Diploma of Music Industry in Sound Production. So here all of these are modules that you are required to complete in order to satisfactorily move to the, uh, through the qualification. Um, you can see here there are very specific areas of training and skills development modules or, or units that include things like mix live audio, record sound, edit sound, mix recorded music as an example of some of the practical uh, sound production training um, subjects that we that we offer. In addition there's also there will be also some training in uh, you know, copyright areas like uh, WHS and broader industry training that prepares you to, to step into an industry with some sense of how the industry works, where the job opportunities are and um, prepare you for, for work. Similarly the course structure for the certificate for in light production and technical services includes a number of practical modules or units um, that include things like installing and testing lighting equipment, operating complex vision systems, repairing and maintaining vision system equipment, and also looking at how you may work with other people in, in your industry area. So how you might communicate effectively with other arts professionals or working with teams, working in teams. Also, you know, most of our programs, if not all of them, would include a, a WHS uh, component and uh, some form of copyright component as well. And there's, there's also a focus in, uh, across many of our programs uh, that relates to how we might collaborate in a creative environment with a, within a creative process. So that's a real focus for our programs. And in fact, many of our programs would be working across a, with each other in support um, for a, of a major project that might be um, might be underway, which I'll speak to a bit later in the presentation. Similarly, in the diploma of screen and media, um, we have units like record sound on location shoot a wide range of screen content, create digital visual effects, develop storylines and treatments. So once again, these are very specific skill set modules that prepare you for industry. 
with vocational education, the intention is to deliver relevant and contemporary training to prepare you as, as work-ready uh, graduates once you've finished your, your studies. So a series of, of modules that are completed over two semesters for this particular qualification, the diploma. We also run an associate degree in screen and media production, also focused on our practical outcomes and skills training at RMIT. That's the emphasis in, in that type of qualification at RMIT. We do consider it to be a vocational education focused uh, outcome uh, qualification. So once again, you can see that there are practical components through semester one and semester two, subjects like documentary production, video editing for visual effects, the craft of storytelling, um, also content uh, that involves working in a, t a television studio production environment, and screen production one, screen production two, semester one and semester two. So the focus with this particular program is really around um, filmmaking and the production of, of films and you'll be actively involved in both the creative uh, elements of this and the practical skills oriented uh, elements which relate to how to do it um, and working with equipment and facilities and software. It's also worth noting in the associate degree that there are some electives that students can choose uh, in addition to the compulsory subjects. So these are listed on the right here. You can see here compositing, animation and live action, the actor's perspective, myths and symbols in screen storytelling. It's fair to say that the facilities at RMIT are state-of-the-art. An example of that is the facility on Swanson Street, which we call the Media Precinct. This precinct and this facility offers state-of-the-art facilities that support current and future trends in media production. It includes five TV studios, control rooms, and supporting spaces such as green rooms and makeup rooms. These are used for live broadcast, recordings and audio mixing. And the studios also include a virtual reality and augmented reality set technologies where broadcast and gaming technologies converge. So these uh, facilities are indeed the envy of industry. Uh, when they were first uh, commissioned, we had a number of uh, leaders in industry coming in and have a, having a look at these facilities and uh, well, they were blown away by the specs and the environment. So this it really is uh, quite an incredible um, facility for, for students who are studying particularly in the area of screen and media and television production. In addition to those facilities on the media precinct uh, and for sound production students, we deliver much of our content in audio-visual audio classrooms, recording studios and mixing sound studios. Our three studios feature state-of-the-art facilities including a Neve Genesee console, which is the first of its kind in the southern hemisphere uh, to be purchased by a training provider. So the object here is to learn to use professional standard tools for music creation, sound recording, editing and mastering processes. So there's a number of facilities here for sound students um, which gives them hands-on uh, access to this, these contemporary equipment and software, um, which is a fantastic opportunity for students. In addition to our studio environments, uh, which include our sound production and our, our screen and media environments, we also have access to wonderful facilities that are RMIT owned. An example of that is the Capitol Theatre which has been refurbished um, recently and represents a remarkable environment in which students can engage in work integrated learning opportunities. So this is a working theatre um, which is occupied by industry by, by night and, by, and students uh, by day. And uh, this, this overlap of industry with training and education is something that RMIT uh, students um, presents an opportunity for students which is unlike any other I would say. So the Capitol Theatre is one of the most important cinemas in Australia's history. The venue was constructed in 1924 and was reimagined by RMIT and Six Degrees Architects as a contemporary hub for education and culture. 
The Capitol hosts screenings and workshops and gives our media students the opportunity to participate in live productions and screenings. Another opportunity for our screen and media students particularly is uh, the opportunity to engage with RMI TV, which is our student-run television station broadcast, uh, which broadcasts on Channel 31. Uh, Ch Channel 31 is really a partner to RMIT and many of the activities that take place in, in the screen and media space. A great example of this was in 2019, we had uh, students in the Certificate 4 in Screen and Media working directly with the Bachelor of Journalism students and Channel 31 to broadcast the, the federal election uh, live out of this facility uh, on the night of the election. So that was an incredible opportunity for students to, to work both in a, an amazing facility, partnering, you know, partnering between vocational education students and higher education students, and an industry partner in this case, which was Channel 31. A great example of what the opportunities are here at RMIT University. That example of the way students worked with uh, the RMIT facility, the media in the media precinct with Channel 31 and Bachelor of Journalism students towards the broadcast of the federal election in 2019 is one example of the way students will work on industry projects with real clients and take part in local and overseas uh, work placements can form part of that opportunity in addition to attending field trips and studio uh, practice and receiving mentoring by industry professionals. It's worth noting that um, RMIT in 2019 our students undertook 11,000 uh, upwards of 12,000 work integrated learning placements um, which is really a focus of RMIT's um, opportunity. This is once again it's about working with industry, partnering with industry uh, and including that as part of our training and education agenda. Um, so it's not exclusive to just coming and studying at RMIT. There are partnering projects which, which um, skill students up for industry through working with industry. The next slide, which is uh, just an example of some of our industry partners. So here you've got the ABC uh, fact check uh, partnership. So the ABC fa uh, Fact Check is actually uh, work on site at RMIT. They're situated here, um, which is once again, it's a great um, overlap where you've got um, a partner working on site and that gives rise to many opportunities where students can uh, be you know, paired up and partnered with some sort of project that uh, involves an organisation like ABC and the Fact Check area. As a, great, as a great opportunity, great example of that. In addition, uh, Gravity Media, MKTG and Jam, Jam TV. Another uh, example of a partnership that's emerging at the moment is the AFL. You may have heard of the, the ARC or the AFL Review Centre, which is where they review football decisions live um, in, a, um, in an environment, a production environment on South Bank, um, we have students being placed into that, into that uh, environment to work with the AFL and work with ARC and in fact Jam TV are also involved in that, in that partnership. So that's an, another example of the way students, and in this case those students are certificate for in screen and media students, are placed into um, real environments and real workflows. Another example of an industry project is uh, what we call the Collide Project, which involves five vocational programs, more than 120 RMIT students and a number of high profile music industry professionals. In this case, students work together on an event that is part television broadcast and part live music concert over six days. The students film, record, live mix, light and photograph and interview a number of emerging Melbourne um, music artists. This brings together students' collective skills to complete one major production in real time, working with professionals, directors, camera operators and sound engineers. Again, another great example of working uh, cross-discipline, so different programs working together. In this case, sound production students would be working with live production students who would also be working with screen and media students. 
in a state-of-the-art facility um, with industry partners and artists coming in. So it's a very exciting project, that one. Students love that. In terms of global opportunities, we also have a number of those that, that come up from time to time. A good example of that is where we have uh, our advanced diploma of sound production students uh, partnering with students from the DePaul University in Chicago. So this is uh, what we would call uh, an online collaboration, um, which happens once a year and has been running very successfully for the last two or three years. Uh, and this is really um, um, a creative partnership where they're developing um, sound designs and sound, sound materials and post-producing those materials across um, and running, running those between the DePaul students and the, the RMIT students. In terms of our alumni, uh, we've had a number of highly successful um, student graduates over the years. Uh, so these are some, some examples of our graduates who've gone on to do great things out in the world, um, out in the creative areas and creative industries. So Andre Ehrman is one example of that. So he, he's worked for Sony, Warner, Future Classic, and has also earned Grammy and ARIA nominations and gold selling status, including number one spots across the iTunes and Billboard charts. So great success story there with, uh, with Andre. In addition to Andre, we've got a couple more students profiled here. Adriana is one who finished the Cert for in live production and technical services. And also Aaron Ferrugia is another um, student who graduated out of the advanced diploma of screen and media. In terms of some of those industries and some of those career outcomes, there's a list here we, we can see. So in screen and media, camera assistant, cinematographer, editor, special effects, specialist, TV graphics designer, producer, a number of um, career outcomes there in screen and media. In live production, AV technician, data wrangler, studio operator, broadcast TV or radio technician, lighting desk operator, lighting designer, a number of uh, fantastic roles there um, for students who graduate out of live production programs. In terms of sound production, um, audio engineer, so either in a studio or in, in a live setting, uh, producer and post-production specialist. We find in sound production that many of our students um, get opportunities, uh, getting increasingly uh, um, sought after in the digital media space. So for example, um, music and audio for gaming, for, for games for example, is one, one area that's a growing opportunity for students who graduate out of our sound, sound programs. So in terms of our impo the important dates to note down, to take note of, uh, in vocational education, our orientation for 2021 uh, intake uh, begins on the 8th of February, which is also the same week where classes begin. The last date to enrol for semester one is the 15th of February. This also applies for our um, vocational education programs and our associate degree uh, programs as well. Let me end by saying thank you for taking the time to hear about our fantastic vocational education programs at RMIT. For more information about these programs, check out our website or call study at RMIT on 9925 2260. Take care and have a lovely day.